Hello, hello again. So it's time to finish the track. The track is finished, I mean. So I'm going to show you the, the small adjustments that I made uh, on the mix. I'll export the track and then I'll show you how I master my own tracks. Uh, it's not real mastering, I don't have <coughs> uh, studio monitors, I only have these headphones. Uh, reasonable average quality headphones but it's just a way to put the sound uh, louder so I'll begin to show you what I've made in terms of mix so this is the track uh, the way I since Citrus it's a style of music that you need to uh, equalize and compress as long as you go it's not it's not like you're in the band and you play the instruments and then <coughs> you mix everything here you you do it while you're making the music while you're in the pre the creative pro process so here what i did i put i gr grouped everything from kick and bass drums fs synth synth voice synth and sweeps so okay why i'm gonna put the voice in the last uh so the first thing i i did was uh, the kick and bass uh, you can see all these All this stuff turned on, it's just like uh, an effect to the kick and bass, it's not uh, mixing, it's just creative. But we have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plugin. I advise you to buy this because you have... It's just beautiful. Uh, it has a great sound quality. So starting with the kick and bass, what I did was I, I had it a, a, a little bit of compression in between 3 and uh, 1 dB of gain reduction and this uh, fast attack, fast release, where you want the fastest and I had uh, a equalizer uh, only applied to the low frequency so we have it at the eight, 80 Hz and we gave it uh, 4 dB of uh, power so let's hear kick and bass. So I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, you can see the difference. Way fuller and uh, more uh, aggressive. So yeah, tr uh, almost 3 dB of gain reduction, it's enough, we just want a little bit of uh, compression, we don't want to put uh, loads of it. Normally people go by the 5 dBs, but uh, I think that's way too much for uh, digital music. It, it, this is great for uh, instruments, instrumental, voice, vocals, uh, guitar, drums, bass, and as well works good as a uh, as to the digital so all I did in the uh, next ones was add all of them as this uh, plugin which is free it's really 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 good plugin and it's just a compressor to uh, re to gain stag like uh, because I I was speaking and I, I just Compress it with the input and then took a little bit of output. So the drums, let's put the drum section. My, mine is, it's like 2 dBs of gain reduction and here I think also. So the synth the same thing, oh, and I added uh, the kick and bass, I, I left it 
like that, but in all of the groups I had uh, Echo Laser also. So the drums have it, the synth has it. Minus three. The sweeps don't. I didn't feel the need. It's just it's a little bit, and it's in this space where there is no bass, so it's okay. The synth we're going here. Maybe I want to get it a little bit louder. Let me check the master fader. That's that here and here, which is where. So as you saw, it picked. I don't want this to pick. And it's I I I would assume that it was because of the crash, but I don't think it is. Yeah. So you always have to have a lot of attention to whether the signal is picking or not because I see uh, I, I saw some videos on YouTube like the title and the title said uh, gain stagging to get the perfect minus 6 dBs for the mastering and what I do and we all of you should do I just raise the the, the master volume 6 plus 6 dBs up and I control my music, uh, you know, do not pick. So, and it's picking. Uh, I guess the crash is the crash is helping. I'm going to lower a little bit. So, but still, I have to go to the drums. Take a little bit. No, it's 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 really the crash that it's way too loud. Maybe. Okay. Sometimes it picks. Sometimes it doesn't. What the. F So the most boring part is like having to listen to the old track always looking uh, for the signal. So that's what we're gonna do now before we export. But uh, I'm, I'm glad with the mix. Uh, I don't think I need to add anything else. So let's hear the full song and hope that uh, there are no that it doesn't pick. So let's go. Uh, I'm in the beginning. Yes, I am. All right. I just need to <laughs> one thing. I love this. I need to put it louder. Okay, so uh, this is way too. Uh, let me hear this one. 
It's now it's a little bit too loud so minus 1 dB I think it's good speaking it's this goddamn delay I will have to compress it but I didn't, didn't really want to I think it's already been compressed but I, I will have to do it for sure Definitely a really hard. It has a lot. It goes really down in the frequency range. Yeah, it's fucking picking. Okay, it didn't. 
second pick now. I'm going to have to <coughs> get the symbol all almost. Okay, please don't pick. <laughs> this is like boring. You know, like I, I could like get really the, the sound really down, but I want to respect the overall mix, and I want to resp I want it to be almost eating zero. The, the closest as possible because when I'm going to, when I'll export I'll just go down and put this at zero and I'll have the minus 60 bits that I need for the master so that's why I really need to make it uh, perfect god damn it Maybe, maybe yes, it was because of the symbol, the crash. So, okay. No, nope. sometimes it picks, sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand. Another challenge is this. Oh god damn it. So I also already have an utility, so yeah, I want it to be working in here. Okay. solved <laughs> picked again let's go to the voice because this one I'm fucking sure of what it is so right I'm just gonna put none Right. 
this is this is what compression does. I know it takes a little bit of some dBs after trash. <laughs> picked in the last I know why and I'm going to just come here and minus two and minus one come on I can't believe so uh, I don't understand. Sometimes it pick, sometimes it doesn't. I think it's okay. You see?
Alright, we are ready to export and to master it. So now, when you are exporting um, a file to master, you will have to do one thing that it's already done, but I'll show you. Normally, your Ableton will appear like this, probably. You just need to go and make the bit depth 24 bits and no dithering. Dithering, it's very important that you put no. Only deter your tracks when you're mastering. So after you're mastering. So let's export. Um, Monarca, Monarca. Here it is. Um, yeah, that's long time no see. <coughs> now we wait. Ah, sleepy as fuck. So I'll come back when it's rendered. See you. So, <coughs> our track is already exported, let's create a new file, a new live set, let's say yes. Okay, so I al always have this template uh, with me, I'm gonna let everything, leave only audio track big now let's go to my music so monarcha long time no see i should name it master but for master so oops for mastering okay and let's drop drop it so as you can see this is not the waveform of a, a master track. A master track has like block. <laughs> and since we're making Psytrance, we're going to try to achieve that block. Okay. Let's put on the headphones. Let's do this. 
So first thing first, let's get a meter. Plug in MV meter on the master channel. Let's calibrate it to minus 10. digital <laughs> the best this is great okay Just a little bit, this is like the highs, and let's l look at the thickness of the lows. This is such a great plugin, you can use it all the way up and it still sounds good. I'm not going to do it, but maybe halfway, because it sounds really good. Trimmer, no, I don't want a trimmer. So, I'm gonna give it a little bit of air at the eight. Just one dB, it's enough. And dynamics. Should I go for vintage? Mm. Should I use this one? Okay. Uh, when you're measuring, always use uh, slow ratio ratios, never above two. You can use two, it's okay, but more than that, mm, I don't think it, it, it will be good. So I'm using uh, 1.5 and I need the f fast attack, fast release. You want to make the, the gain reduction uh, meter uh, to dance. So... Now just go for the makeup. Oh, and we're not even in the loudest part, so we have to be careful. So yeah, it's picking. And I, I hear, I'm going to take. This makes such a big difference. It's just uh, one dB. How is it? Is that possible? This is no professional mastering. 
don't kill me so I'm now I'll just drop a limiter and I saw I know uh, yesterday I downloaded one that was really good I think no it's not this one which one is it so oh, limiter six oh limiter one this looks like it yeah this is it so I want to So let's look at the <coughs> how the wave is. So okay, and I am the God of to compare well yeah not that big but you can see that it's more controlled oh I'm I'm so sorry uh, oh, in my head very bad master okay Looks good to me. I don't want to smash it. This is dark side. I like. I, I want that. It has to be. It. I want it with dynamics. You know. I don't want it squashed. Although it should be. I'm not. I'm not going to do that to my music. Yeah, but I don't want some. I don't want so much gain reduction. It's reducing way too much. So. hell don't know why this is not working um, let me use the Ableton's limiter because I'm not sure 
As I said, I get I got the plugin yesterday. I'm not sure what he's doing. Let me see if I'm limiting too much or not. Yes, I am. This is uh, yeah, it's not anything. It's like utility. So let's save this. A uh, long time no see, master. And I'll export it. So. Fades, very important, don't want any clicks. Wave 16 and then you use the teeter. Okay, export. Monarca. Long time no see. Master. Mm. Okay. So that's it, folks. <sighs> I hope this was helpful. This is not, as I said, it's not really master, master, mastering like you do it in the studio with uh, good uh, monitors. But uh, it's a way to get your music to sound loud when you upload them to the internet. So other people can, or when you're in the phone, it doesn't get uh, way too uh, low. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good time and. Uh, I hope you're producing good. <laughs> bye bye, man.